I want to share the screen now. Thank you a lot for the invitation to share this uh, panel with this uh, great person like uh, Andrew Bolton, the great Andrew Bolton, and my friend and brother Jose Luis uh, Lazaro uh, Martinez. So uh, I want to try to share the. Okay. You can see the screen now, right? Yes, very well. Yes, thank you yes, very much. yes. Okay, thank you. Again for the invitation, Ariel. It's a great effort to join the knowledge around the world with those kind of expertise. And um, you invite me to talk about the clinical practice of vascular exploration in diabetic foot patient with fault alternation with the topic of view of the Latin American San Elian system now in Europe, like Swiss. Our association, Latin Americana de Pediatricos, send a greeting for you all around the world. We are working every day, very hard. And uh, in this uh, paper that we published uh, one year uh, ago, we talk about the new concepts in the, the problem that was formerly uh, named diabetic foot ulcers. Now we need to talk about and differentiate about the diabetic foot attack, to know the stage of the diabetic foot attack, to know the structure and function and the score and follow of the of the San Elian system that is not uh, as classification. The classification is only part of the system that function for diagnosis, for prognosis, for treatment, prevention, reference, and contra-reference of the patient from one level to another one. My own amputations are associated, associated to the type of diabetic foot attack that uh, we were publishing that as aggravating factors since uh, uh, 2010. So uh, the ischemia is not only the, the greatest, yes, it's the greatest problem that um, uh, unfortunately, um, Living amputation, major amputation, but the edema and the charcoal food as well are improving and are uh, completing all the guys that are trying to get worse the problem. So uh, we published in 2010 that the ischemia is the main factor that contributes to the 10 factors of that uh, we published at San Elian. Ischemia have the major outrage to, to contribute to the system uh, with a number of factors, zones, neuropathy, charcot area, big area, and so forth. But for mortality, the, the, it changed. It changed because it's not ischemia, it's edema, bilateral edema, secondary to kidney, to cardiovascular problems, and so forth. And infection contribute to mortality as well, the number of factors, zones, uh, area size, a bigger size uh, in the entire foot, of course, and so forth. So uh, if you know this, um, this situation, you can uh, see the problem in another uh, way. For example, this uh, amazing article that compared the um, shelf instant contact casting device with, with a new one with the total contact cast uh, conventional, you can see that for, for us in Latin America, this uh, size of, of ulcer treaties are small size. And unfortunately, in our real world, the diabetes foot attack are severe with clinical case that are challenging or our, our uh, health system. The learning objectives of this um, talk lecture is that the attendants will review the foundation for the diagnosis of diabetes foot attack secondary to ischemia. The attendants will know the validation of the Sangelian ischemia severity score for the diabetic foot attack. So the milestone in vascular assessment, uh, Jose Luis Lazaro previously talked about that in, in very excellent and, and simple way, that uh, in focusing in accurate assessment. Differentiating diabetic and non-diabetic person that are quite different and differentiate the severity grades, defining the affected angiosome and the plantar 
plantar vascular arc potency and the perfusion and the acceleration time. And um, FIBS is um, two concepts different. The critical limb ischemia versus, versus the critical wound ischemia are different. So since uh, 2010, we published a paper including all these uh, factors. And in 2017, and the IDF clinical practice recommendation includes the San Elian system. Uh, and I contribute in a very, very important task uh, to work hard every day to uh, publish uh, finally these uh, guidelines. Uh, and this is the way that this, uh, until now, uh, publish a checklist score, the three severity grades for prognosis, and less than three minutes after the medical story's performance is done. It's not time consuming. This is a fake. If you, uh, the, the, the attention, the care of the diabetic foot attack is a medical issue. And uh, you are, it's mandatory to perform the, this uh, clinical chart, the history, and then you can classify as you, as you wish. But okay, we're resuming this diagnostic tool three-factor checklist where the individual assessment of each factor can provide you a, a very accurate measurement of a mild, moderate, or severe uh, problem. So you can um, finally sum the score and make a prognosis of mortality and amputation. Of course, you need a basic kit for diagnosis, but if you only have pulse, it's okay. Stanley include only if you have your hands to diagnose pulse, uh, AVA to pressure, TBI, waveform register, uh, transcutaneous oxygen pressure, uh, time of acceleration uh, of plantar acceleration, and so forth. And this is a simple way to measure the ankle brachial and index. So it is a sequence that you can see any, anywhere on. Only just for remember the calculation, calculation of uncle, uncle brachial index. And we agree with Jose Luis Lazaro. It's not there, the avi calculation. The, the, the only way the, in the situation is you need to, to think how to use it with a, a very good clinical judgment. So top pressure and uh, transcutaneous uh, oxy oxygen pressure are as useful as well. Uh, to pressure plus um, uh, uh, 30 millimeters of uh, HE or less, well, it's a very, very good point to, for severe ischemia or for improved uh, prognosis. This scale and score to pressure, uh, you can see here, is part of the assessment. The reference recently published uh, in the bottom. In the, in the bottom, and well, you can see how we assess. Uh, Jose Luis uh, talk about that. The no normal triphasic phase is important. It's very very difficult to to achieve this kind of a uh, triphasic wave in diabetic patient. This is the normal. The normal. Uh, a picture that you can obtain in the, in the graphic measurement. So this is um, a story, story child of San Elian that uh, we differentiate the level of pulse palpation, Doppler audition, right and left, the pressures assessment and index, and the Doppler wave register by anatomical levels. This is the format to score ischemia as part of the use and the part of the ischemia this is the more complex uh, to assess, but finally it's not too much. We recently published the validation of the ischemia severity scale based on non-invasive vascular assessment for outcome or outcome prediction in diabetic foot attack. Remember, that comes as is very important. Diabetic foot attack, pulse palpation. If you use an alien only with pulse palpation, it's okay. You don't need more. You don't need transcutaneous oxygen pulsor. Here is the, the, the result, pulse uh, palpation uh, of arteries, dorsalis pedis, antibiotics posterior correlating very well with the level of ischemia. Without ischemia, you can see the dorsalis pedis, antibiotics posterior, how 
how the the the, the palpation will be diminishing as the severity of the GME increases with a significant uh, value. And two brachial index as well. As you can see the two brachial index from normal without ischemia to practically uh, absence of uh, index. And uh, the correlation of this outcome was the severity ischemia skill with wound healing, major amputation. And you can see the wound healing and major amputation is uh, increased as the absence of ischemia are, are present. But when the severity of the ischemia uh, increase, the problem is worse. Major amputation goes to less than 5% here, major amputation to 70% with severe ischemia. Well, these uh, results are not only published in, in other countries. In in, in Argentina, Gabi Carrio uh, published this uh, this comparison, this uh, classification, using only pulse palpation and um, ankle brachial index. In Colombia, Rodrigo Triana uh, uh, published a recommendation for. Uh, orthopedic and traumatology surgeons about the recommendation. And it's so easy that uh, uh, these uh, guys, this college, uh, Jaimito Infante, Ernesto Paul Medina Paredes, published the utility of the classification of San Elian in the follow up of ulcer and diabetic food in patient in, in the hospital of Peru, Peru, Peruvian in the mountain. So in, in no, not in great city, not in great centers, and not in great facilities. This is the validation of the scale that, of course, in 2010 we published, but we we make a, a correct and proper validation about our result in no ischemia, mild and moderate and severe rates. Uh, so the difference in, in wound healing was a difference. The angiosome is very important uh, for vascular assessment. Our, our friend uh, Christopher Attinger published uh, this uh, so many years ago, and only to, to refresh the memory how the, 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 the angiosome are distributed tibialis posterior, anterior uh, tibialis, and so forth, the plantar, medial, or larval. So you can see here how, how they are defined. And uh, it's very useful information because you need to apply your clinical judgment for angiosome, for the plantar arch, uh, and so forth. So you need to, to um, um, assume all the knowledge to take the better decision for your patient. So this comparative table, it's a method of revascular uh, angioplasty, PTA, and bypass, and bypass with an appropriate angiosome treated and only the boundary angiosome treated. So the differences are quite um, shown in this slide. So, um, uh, Roberto Ferraresi uh, uh, contributes uh, very hard we using his. Uh, two or three slides that uh, we appreciate to, to him, uh, his, um, his willing to share the knowledge with all of us, is, is our of, uh, from his experience. For, uh, and this case uh, is for differentiated. It, it's a real difference between the critical limb ischemia and critical wound ischemia. And not all the patients have critical limb ischemia, but have critical wound ischemia. And we deal every day with, with critical wound ischemia, like this patient, and they have a metatarsal head deformation, abnormal pressure peak, chronic plantar ulcer, infection, and so forth, with the transcutaneous oxygen, uh, ox, uh, oxygen pressure less than 40. Uh, critical limb ischemia with this angiogram? Of course not. But critical wound ischemia, yes, you can see 
the, the, the plantar arteries occlusion, dorsalis pedis, tied by the surgeon is very, very common. The residual connection between dorsal and plantar region are thin tarsal arteries. So there is uh, no uh, critical limb ischemia, but yes, of course, a critical wound ischemia. This is another case of our, our patient in San Elian. Uh, wound ischemia, well, it appears only in neuropathic patient and uh, it's, it's going well, it's doing well, but finally we can see by the there is a critical limb ischemia? No, because we have a transcutaneous oxygen, a pressure plantar transcutaneous oxygen, a normal and dorsal, okay, but there is a critical wound ischemia in the, in the tarsal zone, where the, the, the plantar pressure in, in the tarsal zone is 42.1. So there is a critical wound ischemia, yes. And uh, today I, I catch it, this in, in Twitter, and uh, I love it, about, excuse me, about the plantar acceleration time. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, but uh, there is uh, too much allergies here in Rome. So in conclusion, the vascular assessment for the very foot attack, it is mandatory. This use, the San Elian system is a validated tool to assess rates of ischemic foot attack from pulse palpation to more sophisticated tools. Thank you very much.